Hey everybody, Rob Orgel, and looking back at the videos we've produced so far, it looks like we got really good traction on that 16 inch rifle speed back pressure test with the, I believe it was 21 different suppressors we put them head to head with. Well, great news. One, I think everyone's question went to the same place my mind did, and that is, well, if 16 inches behaves this way, what if we put it in a much shorter configuration? Are we gonna find a greater back pressure deviation because the suppressor is so much closer to the gas block and because the explosion is so much closer to where the suppressor is being that the barrel is so much shorter? So being as I saw that in the comments, as my mind was already there, we went and built one specifically for this test. So as you see, I've got a 11.5 inch pistol variant with the same gas block, which is the rifle speed gas block, so that we can measure unsuppressed to suppressed. So, so far, you guys already know that I like using the baseline of the Silencer Co. Omega 300. That's what you see on the end of the weapon here. So without the suppressor, it's in setting eight. With the suppressor, it's in setting three. So that gives us about five tick marks of deviation to decide who has more back pressure. Now here's some other secrets. One, we've got a lot more silencers on the way. Approximately 17 more silencers are already making their way to our doorstep where we can do more testing. Those are names like B&T, uh, Innovative Arms, Rugged, Dead Air released that new line of those titanium 3D printed silencers. We've got some of those on the way and several other names are gonna get wrapped into our next video. But just so you know, this is the kind of setup we're looking to do and this is the testing that we have to do in order to find out what settings we need to be in. So the test we did, we went unsuppressed and we loaded one round at a time, looking for last round hold open while choking off as much gas as possible. Finally, we did this over and over until we got repeatable last round hold open. And with one setting less, we were not getting last round hold open or intermittent last round hold open. With the Silence Co. Omega 300 at setting three, we're getting repeatable last round hold open even after a hot five rounds. Now I'll give you another secret. The Banish silencers, if you're into those from Silencer Central, personally, I'm not into those silencers. One of my clients had one. Uh, you gotta know that I don't have all the silencers. I have what I have and it's from my personal collection. I spent a lot of money to have these toys. So I'm sharing what I've learned along the career of establishing a collection of 52 different silencers and gaining more silencers as I go, but I don't have everything. So if there's silencers that you would like to see reviewed or put head to head in some of these tests, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section, letting us know what suppressor you're interested in or one that I maybe haven't covered yet. So now back to that story, a client of mine had the Banish, uh, I think it was called the 223 or something like that suppressor. I attached it to the test gun and I found that it had more back pressure than anything else we've tested so far. So that was kind of shocking to me. Again, I'm not really a Banish suppressor guy. Um, they're, the way they do their paperwork online and it comes to your door, that's confusing and sounds kind of scary to me, so I stayed away from those. Uh, but now that I've gotten a chance to test them, I can absolutely see why when they write their own reviews, they put themselves as number one on their list of best suppressors of the year. And when they talk about back pressure, they have their own weird way of doing testing. So there's a million ways to test back pressure. This is what I have found so far to be reliable, consistent, and measurable. So we're gonna continue testing, and we're gonna keep looking for more silencers to test. The B&T one should be here soon. Finally, lastly, guys, it's a community. It's the gun industry. Let's look out for each other. Let's keep it polite in the comment section. Uh, let's continue mentoring each other so that we can all grow and learn together without tearing each other down. Let's, let's have fun as we go. And uh, please, if you like this video, understand that we're investing our time, money, and energy into making these videos for you just because we want to. So please help us defeat that algorithm. Let the video play all the way through. Check out our other videos, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what your current favorite suppressor is because that's going to be one of our next videos. All right, as always, stay safe and we'll see you in the comment section.